the Mandalorian's M1 Starfighter from the Vintage Collection. Today, we will be unboxing and having a look at this awesome vehicle. This is the way. So guys, as I said in the intro, we're going to be taking a look at the Mandalorian's N1 Starfighter, which is part of the Vintage Collection. Thanks very much for joining me here in the Imperial Outpost. As always, guys, it's really good to have you along. Now, we first saw this depiction of the N1 Starfighter in an episode from the book of Boba Fett. And ever since then, I, I really wanted one to add to my collection. Now, what's special about this particular vehicle is it actually comes with a figure and it's a carded figure, which is fantastic. It's supposed to be unpunched as well. We'll, take, we'll see if that is true when we take a look, but that, that will actually be going into my collection. I will be using another figure to go with the vehicle. But let's have a look at the box. As always, uh, the Vintage Collection do lovely looking boxes. I really do like the way that they present uh, what you're buying. They really make it look awesome, yeah. So on the front here, obviously as you've seen, it shows you the carded figure there and it shows you what you actually comes in the kit with a stand as well. So that's nice. On the back, much the same as the front, just without the Vintage Collection logo. On the sides, we have some nice depictions of the ship and Mandalorian there. On that side, same again. And on the top, we have um, another picture there, which is uh, really, really nice. So that's the box, everyone. So, let's uh, get this bad boy unboxed and take a closer look. Talk amongst yourselves. So, this is uh, what we get in the box, guys. We get some usual bits to read. This is the instructions, and I've got to say, really nicely detailed and quite easy instructions showing you how to put this together. So that's that's really nice. Inside, very, very nicely packaged, as you can see there. And we have the carded figure and it's unpunched so this is definitely going in my collection on the back there you can see what comes in in the line this is uh number uh 292 it comes with a dark saber his gun a little knife and his um spear that he uh he obtained. Now, I know he didn't have this spear when he got hold of this vehicle, but I think it's really nice that they've included that into the um, package here, which is really nice. Uh, as you can see on here, it's the Mandalorian. There we go, N1 Starfighter. So you know which which card this, uh, you know which which package this comes from, but. Yeah, really nice. That's going into my collection, as I say. Okay, guys, so I've got everything out of the box. So what we do, we start with the stand. They give you two stands. So we have this one here which is the stand for when the M1 Starfighter is parked, okay? 
And this one here is for when you want to put the uh, display the Starfighter in flight mode. I'm going to be using this one because I think it's a nice, nice stand. You've got a Star Wars Mandalorian on there, and you can pose it in any position. On the bottom here, we have a hole, and that just fits on there or on there like that. Okay, so you've got that stand like that, or that one like that. So there are the stands. Let's take a look at the main body. Really nice silver on here. Okay, we have this, this part here is a lot silvery than than some of these parts here. Uh, it's molded really nice. As I say, it's molded um, from the original N1 Starfighter. Yeah, we have a sliding canopy. Okay, that just slides. Now the original N1 Starfighter had a canopy that tipped up. So this is nice because that's how the canopies work. Okay, so that's that's really nice. Yeah, I'm liking this. Very, very nicely detailed. So that's the main body. We have the wings and the engines here. Really nice that they've detailed all inside. Very, very, very nice. Okay, so we have two of those. Now, we have this part here. Okay, this part goes on the engine like that. Now, you might think, oh, hold on, they've only given you one. Well, that's because you can either have it on this side, the left or the right. So it's, it's, it's up to you what side you choose. Or you can leave that off altogether if you want and just have them exposed, which is nice again. We have these other two parts, which is those on the back of the engine and it's got some engine scoring there. Which is a nice little touch. Now here we have the top. We have two parts that go in the top for the passenger. Okay, so starting with this part here, that goes in, and then you have little Grogu who goes in there. Okay, and then we have top there like that but take all that out and this part you put in there and you can put a droid's head on there r5d4 you can go so unfortunately i haven't got r5d4s but literally you take the head off the droid and just place the head on there I will be getting an R R five D four because I think I might place him in there. I'm not sure yet, but at the moment, obviously, I can only display him with Grogu. I've had a look. I I haven't got another Mandalorian figure, or I, I have got a Mandalorian figure, but he's he's too big. So I'm on the lookout for another Mandalorian figure that I'm gonna put in there. So let's uh, let's get the rest of this together.
Okay, I found out, guys, this part here, okay, it has to slide in this hole just here, all right? That, in fact, this is a nice little touch. This here is what Luke, Han, and Leia used in A New Hope when they was in the trash um, compactor to, to brace the sides up, okay? And that, and if, if you have a look, um, when this was being built in the spaceport in the Book of Boba Fett, the jail was actually um, brought one of these along as well. well I think it was Jail's brought one as well. Or let, well, it, it was there anyway. Um, so uh, that's not, uh, nice that they supply that. That actually goes in there. Okay, what you'd use that for, I don't know. I suppose for a diorama, you could use that, you know, have that out. Um, but anyway, yeah, so uh, make sure that goes in there, you don't lose it. Okay, so that's the ship put together. And I've got to say, it looks really nice. Be careful of that, that part, that, that, that's easily come off. Snaps on, oh, no, there we go, it snaps on. Yeah. Um, this is a really nice looking vehicle, guys. Uh, my only downside, I guess, is you can see some of the molding. Oh, I don't know if you can see it there, some of the molding. Um, but putting that aside, this is a nice looking vehicle. So uh, let's, uh, let's get her on one of the stands. So, so there, there we are in park mode. As you can see, stand just fits in there, so you could display it as such. Nice. Now I. I do know that the original N1 Starfighters, the, the the yellow ones, they were a bugger to stand up. They didn't have a stand. They just sat normal and they kept falling, falling over. So not not fantastic. Um, if you're going to get one, I, I probably will be looking at getting one in, at some point. But I, I think the best way to display one of those Starfighters is either, either hanging down or put them on the wall. Let's have a look on the flight stand. Okay. Now that that for me guys is a is a better stand. Now, what's good about this one is you can position it in quite a few angles, which you've got to say is really, really nice, you know. However you want to display it, that's how I'm going to display it, but I think it looks really, really cool. You know, looks absolutely fantastic really good the detailing on this it's quite good it's got the yellow you can weather it if you want to i'm not sure whether i'm gonna weather it or not um nice nice detailing on the engines as i say but overall this is a great looking ship if you was to take the figure out with with all the weapons and that on the card uh, let me just show you again so on the card, we have his weapons in here. If you open this top up, in the back here, we have a storage compartment that you can place his weapons to keep them safe so you don't lose them. So yeah, keep that down. And then as I say, you know, 
canopy comes open like that, which is great. But uh, yeah, all in all, this is a fantastic vehicle. So there we have it guys, the Mandalorian's N1 Starfighter. As I said, I've got to get another figure to go in here. Once the figure's in there, it's going to look awesome in my collection. Please do like and subscribe and feel free to leave me any comments. Until the next time, this is the way.